my lovies, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be the best and the worst makeup products from Katrine. I did a best of essence video there about, I'd say about a month ago. In the comment section of the video, some of you guys gave me a bit of feedback and you said it would have been really, really helpful if I did a best and worst of essence. So I might touch upon that again, maybe like in six months time or something, but I'm gonna try and do best and worst of a couple of different brands. Today, I said I would do Catrice because you guys were big, big fans of the last Catrice video that I did. Catrice is a super affordable brand. So I'm gonna talk about the products that I love from the brand. We're gonna hit those ones up first. If you like the concept of this video, please give it a thumbs up and let me know what other brands you would like to see down below. So let's kick this off and talk about the best and the worst from Catrice. Okay, to start, I wanna talk about like my personal favorite products from Catrice and they are from the Prime and Fine Prime and Fine range, and they're their primers, their face primers. So I have two here that I am obsessed with. So the first one here is a Prime and Fine Smoothing Refiner for Invisible Pores and Lines. This is more, now I've used this whole thing up like that, I'll tell you how much I love it. This is more of a creamy silicone type base primer. This is like a hybrid between a cream and silicone based primer. It is beautiful, especially if you have oily skin, it'll just mattify the area and just blurs out your pores absolutely obsessed with this and then the other one that I absolutely adore is the beautifying primer so this has a slight tinge of pink in it so you can see it is slightly pink there and when you blend it out you can see it kind of gives that kind of like pearlescent appearance to the skin it just makes your skin glow even though it's a slightly more glowy primer I don't feel like it makes me look oily or greasy or shiny or anything like that throughout the day it still does the job of a primer it says that it naturally illuminates you and I would agree with that. It doesn't make you look greasy or oily. It just makes your skin look more luminescent, youthful, kind of fresh, you know, think like summertime and fresh glowy skin. This is exactly what this does and I just adore it. The next product I wanna mention is definitely creeping up to the holy grail status of foundations for me from the drugstore and it's the Catrice HD Liquid Coverage Foundation. I love this foundation, it is amazing on my skin type so it comes with a dropper which I think is really unusual now not my favorite applicator I'm not gonna lie but you kind of like drop the product out or you can drop it onto the skin or whatever you want to do look how much it covers this is like a six euro foundation and it's just super high coverage and applies just like that onto my face it's not heavy or thick or anything like that. It just gives you an amazing amount of coverage. It has a slight luminosity to it. You can see that there. So it, again, keeps your skin looking fresh, but it doesn't make my skin look oily. It lasts all day. It's really great, I find, on camera as well. There's no SPF in it, so it'd be great to wear it around flash photography. I think it's a wonderful foundation. And for the price of it, it's so inexpensive. So why not just try it anyway? The only problem I do have with this is the shade range. It comes in four shades. Which which I find to be kind of sad. So Catrice, please bring out more shades. I'm not a massive, massive fan of their eyeshadows. I find like they're one of the most hit and miss products from them, but some eyeshadows are definitely a hit and these are the eyeshadows I wanna talk about. Now these shades may have been discontinued, but this actual formulation of eyeshadows is not and they're the liquid metal eyeshadows. So that's what they look like and you can see them there. They are beautiful shades like absolutely wonderful just watch the blue one for you it is a beautiful shade now i do think it is kind of hard to get super high pigmentated eyeshadows from the drugstore but i think these are they do a pretty good job that's just the gold one there underneath it absolutely stunning eyeshadows really really pretty cold one is called we are the champagnes and i have used that in a tutorial before and i really really like it the blue one is called evolution Catrice names for their products are very, very, very clever and I think that they're really funny. Like I do be laughing at some of the names by times. They're lovely eyeshadows and definitely the best formulation that they have in eyeshadows. I wanna talk about a product that is totally like came out of nowhere for me. I picked it up because I was doing a full face of Catrice and I actually ended up falling in love with this product and it is from their Prime and Fine range again and it's called the Professional Contouring Palette. Now in fairness, I haven't used the highlighting side too much but it is quite pretty. It's kind of illuminating but not overly pigmented but the contour I have been loving and I'll just give you a swatch of that there. Like it is 
perfect as a contour shade because it's that cool tone contour but it blends out like a dream on the skin it's not overly pigmented I know you want pigmentation but too much can be streaky this is just the perfect amount of pigmentation you can build it up you can blend it out it's really creamy quite buttery on the skin I love it and it's so inexpensive I think it only costs like three euro definitely a huge hit for me these next products make me so sad because they've been discontinued here in Ireland that's the thing with Catrice I find a theme with them that they discontinue products as quick as they've come onto the market but they are still available in the US and I probably will use like a shipping service to buy them from Ulta because I love them and it's their lip glosses I am totally a lip gloss junkie I've always been into lip glosses when liquid lipsticks were a big thing which they still are even though I'm wearing one today I was all over that lip gloss life and I still am I love lip glosses now the two shades that I have here are called we've got rose would you and then this one is called to be continued nude this one here in the bottom is my favorite one they're to be continued nude I do like the names they I told you they're quite fun they're very pigmented for lip glosses I don't know if you can see that there rage and I didn't pick up more so you can see them there they come in so many different shades I just picked up these two put them there they're beautiful so if you just want a little bit of color to the lips maybe put a lip gloss liner on and place one of these lip glosses over it you're gonna get a slight hue of color and they're gonna moisturize your lips they're just amazing I really really like them and I highly recommend them if you can pick them up get them in every shade again their lipsticks are quite hit and miss but two shades that I absolutely adore and even the whole range of these lipsticks I like they are the ultimate color lipsticks so they come in the black packaging I know they have like ultimate shine as well that also comes in black packaging my favorite shade ever from Catrice is hey new I bought about six or seven of these I used to work in a pharmacy that sold Catrice so I used to go through these like they were water this is my last one that's it there it is the perfect nude shade when I think of a nude shade I think of this straight away it's kind of like max blankety but not as opaque that's the only thing it's just perfect for me I love it the other shade the other shade that I love is in a rose garden this is more of like a pinky nude absolutely beautiful very pigmented very long lasting for drugstore lipsticks the next product that i do think is absolutely gorgeous from them is their highlighting powder this is called light infusion it's number zero one oh i remember when this actually came out and it was just as like um you know like a promotion product like you know like a like ever qu every quarter they have like a different theme for the different seasons and this came out last summer I think or the summer before and I remember we sold out in the first day of this coming in and I was one of the people who picked it up at the time now the only thing I am going to say about this you can still get it because they re-released it again and made it permanent I have to scrape off the top layer the top layer is like this glittery frosted kind of layer on it and it's just not nice I remember buying this putting on my cheek bones and been like what is that it's so glittery I don't like glittery highlights and then I kind of threw it away and just forgot about it like threw it into the back of my highlight drawer I re kind of discovered it there about six months ago and I discovered that you kind of have to take that top layer off so you need to kind of now my top layer is gone but you need to kind of like rub off the top layer with your fingers or even scrape it off with your nail or something and then you get this gorgeous highlight so I'm just going to show you it look at that there like it is really really pretty can see it there glowing away you can use this as a topper over other highlights but it is sensational so if you do pick this up don't be afraid when there's like a glitter hue over the top of it just scrape it off and then go with the product underneath and it's a winner winner chicken dinner in my opinion another product that I absolutely adore from Catrice and I'm so surprised with it because it's a mascara and usually mascaras I'm just kind of like nah they're all right they're fine you know if it's an affordable mascara I'm usually all about it because I'm like oh it's affordable and it does the job whatever but this is super affordable it's like three or four euro and it is one of the best mascaras it's one I wear so frequently and it is their Rock Couture Extreme Volume Mascara this is only a new mascara that came out from them and I'm praying that they keep this on their stands because it is so amazing it has a really unusual wand it's quite big but I just feel like it gets right down to the root of my lashes because the bristles are quite stumpy on it oh I just really recommend this to anybody who maybe doesn't feel like their lashes are all that full try this out it will give you super long lashes I really like it I just think that's a really great mascara for the price now the next product that I like from Catrice I kind of 
have a few negatives to say about it, usually, because I like it. But these are the eyebrow pencils, and they're new from them. They're, they're Slimatic Ultra Precise Brow Pencils, and I love them. And they're supposedly waterproof, which I think is kind of cool. I really want to do, like, a waterproof, testing waterproof makeup. I know I did that before from Penny's, but I'd like to do it, like, with loads of brands. Anyway, I twist them up, and they're quite similar to the... Anastasia Beverly Hill Brow Wiz or the Benefit like Precisely My Brow all those kind of eyebrow products it applies quite nicely to the brow it's really really lovely coverage it gives a nice feathering to the brows makes them look really nice really easy to control but the product itself crumbles like no other so you have to have it like down almost like right down to the bottom before you can use it through your brows because what will happen is the nib will just break. The other issue I have from it is that because the nib breaks so much, it's so crumbly, you fly through these products and even if you weren't using them and crumbling off the nib of it, you would still fly through these products. I've repurchased these products, I'll say three times now since doing my full face of Catrice makeup, which wasn't that long ago. I've, I've repurchased the darker one. This one is still the original one, I just don't use it because it's too light for my brows. But I've repurchased this so often because of that reason. It wears down so quickly, it crumbles and sad for me. But I do really like the applicator, the product. I love it. I just wish it wasn't so crumbly and I wish it wasn't so easy to waste. The final product that I really, really like from Catrice and I do find that a lot of people say to me, oh, it's kind of junk, but I think it's really good and it works for me. So that's why I'm including it in my best from Catrice. The Catrice Prime Prime and Fine Eyeshadow Base. This is a great eyeshadow base for those of you who are just getting into makeup. You don't want to spend a bomb on an eyeshadow base. That's it there. It's kind of lighter than a concealer. It reminds me a little bit of the Urban Decay Primer Potion. I find that it's great at stopping my eyeshadow from creasing. I don't think it's quite as good as the I Love Stage eyeshadow ba base from Essence, but it is definitely one of the best eyeshadow bases from the drugstore. I mean, they're hard to come by. I think this one, the Essence one, and the Maybelline color tattoo. I think that loads of other brands have tried to do eyeshadow bases like Rimmel and L'Oreal and Maybelline and they just didn't do a good job. So kudos to you, Catrice, you did a really good job. Okay. Now I'm gonna move on to my misses or the products I don't really like from Catrice and this one is kind of like on the cusp of it. I don't necessarily love it, I don't necessarily hate it, it's just in between. So I said I would start off with this before we go into the other products I really didn't like. And it is the Liquid Camouflage Concealer from Catrice. Now I have a love-hate relationship with this for a number of reasons. The first reason I have a love-hate relationship with it is the scent. I cannot stand the scent of it, it is so overwhelming. It smells like perfume, like it gets you at the back of your throat, it's very overwhelming. A reason why I love it is because of its coverage, you can see how full coverage that is this is only like a two or three euro concealer the other reason why I don't like it is because it's so full coverage this creases to no end underneath my eyes if I haven't set this within like a split second this will crease so I don't like that about it that you have to set it so immediately because it'll just crease on you it can also be very very dry so I feel like once I apply this underneath my eye I can't leave it there and move on to the next eye you know like when you're doing the triangles under your eyes I have to do the triangle underneath this eye blend it out set it and then move on to this side that's how quickly it creases on me but if you can control the creasing issue you know you won't have a major problem with it I don't have huge issues with concealers in general creasing on me so it's sad that this does that so these are the products now that I'm not keen on the first one I'm going to start off with is actually a new product from them and it's their instant lipstick mattifier I tried this about 700 million times and I cannot get this to work so there's this gel like formula you can see it in there it looks to me like a silicone based primer so you're supposed to apply this over a lipstick and it's supposed to make it more matte but <laughs> it doesn't do that I've tried it over a lip gloss lipsticks I've tried it over like more creamy lipsticks more kind of on the cusp of being matte it doesn't do anything all it does is kind of add like a sheen to it so I don't know it's it's I don't understand the purpose of this product I think it's silly it doesn't work and I'd say pass on it it's a bit gimmicky okay the next product that I don't really like is kind of an oldie product from Catrice but it's still hanging around and I know they've gotten rid of so many of their products I don't understand why this is still there it is the Catrice matte mousse makeup this is definitely right in saying it's matte it's so matte that me as an oily girl 
barely can wear this because if I have any dryness anywhere on my skin, it will cling to it like a magnet. It's so attracted to dry patches on your skin and it just makes them emphasize and look nasty, not nice at all. So that is what the foundation looks like. It is extremely, extremely dry in formula. So 100% never ever, if you had dry skin, would I recommend this. Also the coverage from this is not great, so it doesn't give you amazing coverage. I know these moussey foundations are not normally for me anyway, so maybe if you do like moussey foundations, you will enjoy it, but I just find that the, the formula of it is way too dry. Even there in the back of my hand now, it is super dry. Another product I don't like is one of their new products, and this is from their lip cushion range. Kind of a cool concept is a sponge applicator that you twist, but I just don't like the product. I just don't like the color. I don't like the formula of it. Just not crazy about it. I didn't mind it in the Catrice video, but I've tried it a few times since. It is quite pigmented. Like I just didn't like it on my lips. I don't know why. I just think it's gimmicky. Again, I'm just not keen on the color and I'm not mad about the formula. It is, like I said, quite opaque, full coverage, but I just am not keen on the formula. I just, you know, I just pass on it. Now this product surprised me so much so because the Catrice Prime and Fine Mattifying Powder. I, I did try this product again since filming my full face of Catrice products and again and again and again. I liked it for a little while and then I didn't like it again. I think my overall thing is that I'm just not keen on this product. It's only a mattifying powder but I just I'm not crazy about it. Like it's just I'm going between loving it and hating it and I just figured out at the end, I just, I don't think it's something I would recommend. You would think it was a really nice powder because it is mattifying, it's translucent, all that, but it's just super powdery, that's it, like it's so powdery. Also it sinks into like fine lines and it can cake a lot on my skin, so I do find this not to be the best mattifying powder. And I know some people do absolutely adore it, but it's just not for me. Now I did talk about eyeshadows that I did like, but these are some of the eyeshadows that I don't like. They have the absolute rose and absolute nude. The absolute collection of Catrice eyeshadows are in my opinion, absolute rubbish. I'm not keen on them. I think they're very powdery shadows. They're very dry. They're not buttery in any way. The pigmentation is just not there. You can just see like they're just, not amazing. Then again, the nude palette, just not wonderful. Very, very dry consistency, not amazing to swatch and a bit patchy as well. They brought out these new palettes and they're called the Precious Palettes. And this is the copper one. And I think that the shades in this are amazing. So they're a lot more pigmented. So you can see that in comparison, much more pigmented, much creamier shades, definitely a better option. So pass on these absolute palettes and pick up the, what are they called? The precious palettes instead. And the final thing for Catrice that I'm not overly keen on is their Sun Matte Bronzing Powder. I just feel like this just is so patchy on me all the time. Every time I use it, it just cakes on me. It looks patchy. It doesn't blend out nice. It's just not my favorite. I've used it so many times and I just still come to the conclusion that it's just not for me. What I don't like about it is when you take your brush and you apply it, wherever you apply your brush first is where you're gonna disperse the most product of this and then it's gonna be really hard to blend it out and that's what I don't like about it. So you're left with kind of like patches here, patches there and then it just won't blend out evenly and that's why I just don't like it. So guys, that is everything. Now, even though I did say it was the best and worst, I don't think that any of the products from Catrice are the worst products in the world. Definitely not. It's such an affordable brand. It's just that some of the products are hit and miss for me, that's all. And I do have other products that I prefer, so if I did have money to spend at a Catrice counter, I would pick up certain products over other products, if that makes any sense. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. I know it was probably a long one. Don't forget guys, if you haven't already, click that subscribe button and the bell, just to make sure you get regular up updates on when I upload, and I upload three times a week. Thank you very much guys for stopping by today, and I love you all so much. I'll talk to you soon. Bye!